Hero Under 17 Women's Champions League comes to an end in Kalani Stadium with a awesome and dramatic scenes which has been completed through the span of the football and we are having a communications with lot of football officials regarding the development and the process which they have done in this total development of the series and which we are going to discuss in the communications with Mr. Subrata Dotto also who is a senior vice president of All India Football Federation we are going to observe what the point he has mentioned about the development of football Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, yeah. as per your statement in FICCI under Goal 19 Summit, you are telling that uh, Indian football is going exponentially. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that uh, there is a lot of development, holistic development in Indian football. What will you say, sir, about these things? Well, Indian football, especially the age group teams are doing quite well because we are giving a lot of importance and we are giving a lot of efforts for the development of grassroots football and and the results shows you know that uh, because all, all, all the efforts uh, they are uh, in yielding results and I'm, I'm quite sure our senior team also would uh, really do well in the international arena in the near future because uh, these players which are being developed through a system uh, these system grown players would really do well when they uh, become seniors and uh, there I'm, I'm quite sure we'll get a number of stars of the future from from these uh, uh, age group teams and um, now because of our uh, system right from baby league to uh, the youth leagues the talented players, they now have the opportunity to come into the mainstream of the game. Uh, they are getting a lot of uh, opportunity f to show themselves for their exposure. There are a lot of avenues and, and uh, through that, uh, I think we will be able to scout uh, good players, quality players from this quantity and, and, and they will make us uh, proud. In the, in, in the new sir, future. Uh, as per statement of AFF, there is a six approved stadium of FIFA and you are going to planning that four more in uh, 2022. So what is the plan about that? Well, you see, for a sport to develop, uh, especially a spectator sport like uh, football, uh, you know, uh, we need right and sufficient infrastructure. So during the under-17 uh, FIFA World Cup, 2017 we had developed six uh, venues and those six venues have international standard stadium and and practice grounds we are planning to develop more such stadiums in our country and uh, and the federation uh, is also uh, going all out for the development of football in the states yeah. and for that there is a new department which is coming out uh, State Association Development uh, Department and uh, I'm quite sure if football develops uh, across the length and breadth of the country in most of the states of our country uh, there will be a holistic growth, holistic progress and, and we will uh, progress much faster. Our uh, uh, progress uh, would get accelerated because um, then we would have a lot of players, coaches, good referees coming up from all the states uh, in our country. Great. And sir, we are slated to uh, perform that under-17 women's championship, this World Cup. So what are the plan about that? Well, we will uh, do it as successfully we did our uh, under-17 uh, boys uh, World Cup uh, in the year 2017 uh, our team is working uh, the local organizing committee and and the uh, professionals that are employed there uh, under the leadership of the tournament director uh, miss roma khanna they are working from morning to night uh, uh, tirelessly and uh, i'm quite sure they will do a good job and let's come to Hero Under-17 Women's Championship. Uh, four teams is participating over here. Lioness is doing excellently well. So the main motto of this game is to select players for our Under-17 World Cup. So how, what are you thinking? How it will be helpful for the selection of the teams? Well, I, um, I'm quite sure that from these four teams which have uh, participated in this tournament, uh, the, uh, the scouts have uh, scouted uh, a number of good players and uh, there are uh, 
and as we can see, uh, a number of players who are really playing well, and and uh, I'm sure that uh, that that one year, which is there for the for the uh, under 17 women's World Cup to begin, uh, they will uh, improve a lot, and uh, I, I'm, what I'm hearing that uh, there'll be a physical uh, trainer, uh, a coach to develop them uh, physically because they need to improve their physique, their stamina, their agility um, because we they need to have more power in the game. So uh, I'm, I'm hearing that uh, a coach from abroad is uh, would be here to uh, train them uh, physically and if they grow stronger, uh, I am, I'm quite sure they will have more power and, and they will play a much better game. Okay, Thanks a lot, sir, for your enormous effort in developing Indian football. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yes, we are with Mr. Subrat and we are very much proudful that uh, it's a holistic development in Indian football, and it's going in all leads around the country. Thank you.